The most headline feature of macOS Sequoia, the window tiling. That's a great feature, but I turned it off. Why? Just look at this. I can put myself to the left side, to the right side, to the top or to the bottom, just with one single click. It's so fast and precise, but let's take it slow right from the beginning. In this video, I want to show you all the things about window tiling on the Mac. So after the macOS Sequoia release, we finally have window tiling natively in macOS. This means that I can easily place windows in parts of the screen, like the left half or the left top corner. But there are a few ways how to use that. So the standard way is to just drag a window and move it all the way to the side. That way I can fill up this whole space next to me. You can actually see the area around the window before I release it that indicates the shape where it will snap. Notice also that if I grab the window again, it immediately goes back to the original size. Now if I go more all the way in the corner, it indicates a smaller sized window. But sometimes it might be a little bit tricky to get it right, using just this simple dragging technique. Much better is to hold down the option key and grab the window. Now it will be showing you the area all the time, so I don't need to go all the way to the sides of the screen to easily snap the window there. And you know exactly where are you going all the time. But it still doesn't solve the issue that this way the tiling might be many times triggered automatically. When I just want to put the window away to the side not to fill up my whole screen. That is the reason why I turn this off. But first let me take you through the settings and after I will show you a very better techniques how to use the window tiling than just this clumsy dragging. So open up system settings and go to desktop and dock. Here a little bit lower is a windows section. It's not called windows just because it's taken from the windows computers. But anyway, here you will find three different options related to window tiling. First, you can remove the margins around the window. Notice that if I take the system settings now to the side, it still leave a pretty big margin all the way around. It's probably there so you can access your desktop under. But I think it makes more sense to let it fill up the whole screen. Now see how the window goes all the way to the corner if I toggle it off. Next thing you can turn off is the option key dragging. And here is the switch to completely turn off tile by dragging. Now it will not bother me anymore and I can put my window wherever I want. But because I turn this off, I am not losing access to this feature at all. Quite the opposite. There are a lot more ways how to use this. I will now go to the other desktop to show you a better example, here on my new favorite wallpaper. But no worries, my other me is still waiting on this desktop. Here I have a couple of windows open for demonstration. First where I want to go is the window menu on top, because here you can find an entire new submenu called move and resize. Here you will find all the options. I can take this pages window to the left or right side, but also to the top or bottom. It doesn't seem to be possible to do this while dragging as we did before. But it's not all. You also have here the button to center. This will kind of choose the right size for the window and put it right in the middle. The other is to fill. This will do the opposite. It will enlarge it and take it to the whole screen. I talked about this in my previous video where I highlighted 10 new but quite hidden features of macOS Sequoia. You should check this video right after we are done with tiling. Now further in this menu, you will find all the corners as well. But what is more exciting are these Arrange tools. Arrange tools affect more than just one window selected. It will organize the whole screen. I can select left and it arranges both of these windows with the selected one being on the left side. I can go back in there and arrange the windows as top and bottom as well. But honestly, I don't like to be using these menus in menu bar. I am actually showing you all of this just because of the shortcuts. Yes, I can control these windows even faster just with my keyboard. So if I want to move this pages window to the left, it's the keyboard shortcut Fn key or you can call it globe key plus the control key and then use the arrow to the left. I can keep on holding Fn plus control and use the arrows to move the window around. And if I add the shift key to the combination, it will arrange all the windows, 
all with one simple click. This works the best with two open windows. If I open another one, it's not going to be so useful and precise because it will arrange only the two front windows next to each other. But I can still go to the window menu and arrange it up to four windows very neatly into corners. Sometimes you can see that it overlaps. That's because the pages or calendar app simply cannot get any shorter. It seems like a lot already. Yet, you have another way how to access all of this. Now let's take one window and go back to the previous desktop. Because you know what? All of these styling and arrange tools can be accessed in another way. And that is by using the green button on every window. All you need to do is to just move the pointer over. You don't even need to be clicking and it will show you all the options. But there is one extra icon with this green button. I can actually arrange three windows on one screen using this groups button. It's a really convenient function. This window tiling can be very useful. What do you think about it? Are you going to turn it off and set it up the same way as I did? Fast moving forward. While you are watching this video, I guarantee you that I'm already working on another one. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button because I want to see you in the next video.